so we're making a video explaining the homework 4.1 WSP and this is all on slope intercept form so so slope intercept form again the word form just means the way it looks and what is slope intercept form y equals mx plus b is slope intercept form now why do you think they call it slope intercept form they call it this this because if it's in this form if you have y by itself a number with x and a number added or subtracted at the very end you can see the slope which is the m and the intercept which is the b okay now what is m m is slope and the slope you're going to see it as a fraction rise over run again the rise is positive if it's going up it's negative if it's going down the run we're always going to look at it from left to right always okay so the only positives and negatives come from the rise if it's going up from left to right it's positive if it's going down from left to right it's negative and of course the b the number that's being added or subtracted out here is the y intercept and that's just where it crosses the y-axis so let's uh, keep this in mind as we move on to the actual homework now numbers one two three and four are super easy it's like honestly free money free points why because I'm telling you that the slope is one-fourth and that the y-intercept is three so all you need to know is slope intercept form y equals m x plus b so you just plug it in and that's it so what's your equation it's y equals one-fourth x plus three and that's your answer of course your answers are on the back side of this worksheet so just flip it over and double check and you'll see that you're correct y equals one-fourth x plus three so I'm not gonna do all of them um, I'm just gonna skip around let's do number three because a lot of people get freaked out with decimals or fractions keep in mind this is not standard form standard form capital AX plus capital B Y equals capital C that's where you don't want decimals or fractions um, it's okay to have decimals uh, or fractions in slope intercept form so right here this would be y equals slope 1.5 x plus b which is a minus one so there's your answer y equals 1.5 x minus one if you wanted to write it as a fraction it could be y equals one and one half x minus one but then the one and one half is a mixed fraction and you just want rise over run you don't want that extra whole number of one out there so you'd have to go two times one plus one so that would actually be three halves x minus one. So if you wanted to write it as a fraction, it would be y equals three halves x minus one, or I think in the back they leave it as a decimal. Do they? So either one's acceptable. Let's jump to number five. Number five says write an equation in slope intercept form. Okay, so what are the two things that we need to write an equation in slope intercept form? That's right, we need a B value, and we also need an M value, the rise over run. So let's uh, find the B value, that's the easiest one. Where does it cross? It crosses at two, right? It crosses right here at two. So I know that my B value is two. Now let's do the M value. Let's go from this point up to this point. So do I go up or am I going down? I'm going up. Now how many levels do I actually go up? Two, right? So my slope, my slope the rise is up two so that's a positive two now once I go up one two how much do I run one two three four five so I run five so my slope is two over five so now it's just a question of saying my equation y equals two-fifths x plus two And that's it. I'll let you guys try number six. I'm gonna jump to number seven. So once again, we need y equals mx plus b. The b is easy, it's just where it crosses your y-axis. So here's your y, it crosses right here, that's negative two. So the b value is negative two. 
Now the M value, pick two points, they give them to you, and count how much you rise and how much you run to get to the next point from left to right. So you're not rising, you're not actually going up, you're actually going down one, two units. So when you're thinking about slope, it's a fraction, and you went down two units, so that's a negative two for the numerator. So you do go down one, two, and then you run one, two, three. So that is uh, negative two over three. And now you could actually write your slope intercept form equation. Y equals the slope is negative two thirds. And then you have the X, and then you have plus B, but B is negative two, so you could write it as just minus two. I mean, of course you could write it as plus negative two, but minus two is better. So as you can see, these questions are the same as the first part. The only difference is up here, I give you your M and your B. And down here, you actually have to count how much you actually rise and run. And that'll be your M. And you have to look on your Y axis to identify what your B value is. Now this last part is really easy. It's just graphing. It's in slope intercept form. Your M is negative half. Your B is positive 2. So if I didn't have graph paper, I know that it crosses at 2. So I would go 1, 2, put a dot right here. And then from that point, I'm going to go down because it's negative. So I'm not going up. I'm going down 1 over 2. So let's actually do this on the graph itself. Let me just rewrite my info down here. My M is negative 1 half. My B, let me write it in red, my B is positive 2. So it crosses at positive 2. And then from that point, I'm going to go down 1 over 2. So from here, I'm going to go down 1 over 2 and put a dot right here. So as you could see, I could draw my line through those two points. But if you want your line to be bigger, you could just continue with your slope pattern of down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2, and put a dot right here then down one over two and put a dot right there. And of course, you could go backwards as well. You could go over two this way, up one, over two, up one, over two, up one, over two, up one, put a dot here, over two, up one, and put a dot there. And then connect your dots. Put some arrows on it, and we have however long of a line we want, but that's the correct answer right there. How about number 10? What form is number 10 in? Standard. So if you wanted to, you could graph it by finding your x and your y intercepts, right? Or you could try to get the y by itself so it'll be in a slope intercept form. It's totally up to you guys. Which way do you want to do it? Get the y by itself? Okay. Technically, all right, let's do it. Let's get the y by itself. Minus 6x minus 6x. We're going to have 3y equals negative 6x with a positive 6. Final step, divide by 3, divide by 3, divide by 3. You're going to have y equals negative 6 over 3 is negative 2 with an x, plus 6 over 3, that's plus 2. Now, for the sake of seeing the rise over run, I'm going to actually write this as negative 2 over 1. Okay, And I'm going to use this new slope intercept form equation to graph it. So where does it cross my y-axis? What's my b value? My b value is 2, so let's put a dot right there. Now from that point, am I going to rise or am I going to drop? I'm going to drop how many? 2, and I'm going to run? 1. So I put a dot right here, and we are done. If you wanted to, you could continue going down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1, to get the line as long as you want. Or you could go backwards and say over 1, up 2, over 1, up 2, over 1, up 2, over 1, up 2, and put a dot up here. It all depends how, lo how long you want to make your line. There's the graph. So I might as well do this middle one. We have time. This one's not in slope intercept form. So we could uh, get it in slope intercept form, dividing by 3, dividing by 3, dividing by 3. My slope intercept form equation is going to be y equals 2 thirds x minus 2. So now you could clearly see that your m value is 2 thirds and your b value is negative 2. 
So it's going to cross the y-axis at negative 2. So I put a dot at negative 2 on the y. Now the thing is, I don't know if my line crosses steep going down, or maybe really steep going up, or maybe just kind of steep going up. I don't know how it crosses. How do I see my steepness? I look at my slope, which is up 2 over 3. So from this point, I'm going to go up 2 over 1, 2, 3, and that's how I get my second point right there. Then you connect the dots, put an arrow on it, arrows on it, and you're done. Just for kicks, just for fun, for funsies. Let's say you wanted to do number 10. We already graphed it, but let's say you wanted to find the x and the y-intercept. So let's find the x-intercept. What I want to do is I want to set my y value equal to 0, which means I want to cover it up. So what's my x-intercept value if I solved 6x equals 6? x-intercept would be 1. Why? Because if you divide, divide by 6, divide by 6, right, it would be x equals 1. 6 over 6 is 1. Okay, now if you wanted to find your y-intercept value, you would cover up your x, and right here you would divide by 3, divide by 3, and your y-intercept, your y-intercept would be 2. y-int would be 2. So you know that it crosses your x-axis at 1, it crosses your y-axis at 2. So that's another way of graphing if you wanted to. It crosses the x-axis at 1, it crosses the y-axis at 2, and you draw a line right through it. So just to let you know, standard form is still easy to find the x and y intercepts, and you could use that to graph. But slope-intercept form, if it's already in slope-intercept form, is the easiest form to graph because all you do is look at your y-intercept and then look at how much you rise and how much you run from that point. So all of this stuff is going to be on Friday's quiz.